Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So I'm finally back in Switzerland. I'm here in the mountains enjoying a little bit here the nice fresh air. So I came right from the beach straight back into the mountains and uh, I have right now a lot of time to upload some videos and also do some nice TAs live over on Twitch. So make sure to subscribe here on the channel and also on the Twitch channel you find the link to my Twitch also down below here in the video description. So guys in today's episode we're gonna have a look what is going on here on Bitcoin, what target we have reached and what is the forecast for this year because I still think we could reach a new all-time high within this year. That doesn't mean that we have to top out there and come straight back down but it looks like that we could see a potential 30k Bitcoin within this year. So why 30k? We're gonna have a look at that later in the bigger time frames. First we're gonna start off now with the lower time frames because Bitcoin reached here the top of our channel that we were in here since many weeks already. So we came up here towards $11,300. We had even a week here above. So this yellow line, I didn't change anything on it. We're gonna have a look on the bigger time frames why this uh, resistance here is so significant. But currently you can see that in the one hour, we just had a little week here to the upside, a little fake out. So we closed then the one hour candle below uh, the resistance of $11,300. And currently we are seeing a potential correction here to the downside and this I think will be the perfect opportunity to scale in new long positions for example over on Bybit or BTR where I'm also trading but also if you want to buy some cheaper bitcoins so below 10k that might be the last opportunity to buy cheap bitcoins. Remember we have this CME gap down at around $9,600 and I'm still pretty confident that we will go sooner than later down to fill this gap. Hopefully before we're reaching my target of 30,000 within this year because that could be really the last opportunity to buy Bitcoin below $10,000 again. We are in a parabolic phase. We are right at the beginning. So if we are really going down again to fill this gap here at around 9,600, maybe even go down to test the 200 daily moving average Average, that might be the last opportunity for you to buy cheap bitcoins and also some other altcoins if you're interested to buy also some alts because I told you also in the last couple of videos we are gonna see some of these altcoins performing very well and also if you want to take profits then on them you can easily convert it back to bitcoin and you will have even more bitcoin but of course if you just want to go the safe way if you don't want to deal with altcoins then just buy bitcoin and you should be fine without always have to check out all the altcoins and do uh, trades to convert it back on bitcoin and so on because you can of course multiply your bitcoin if you're buying right now the right altcoins and then when you have profits take it back into bitcoin you will multiply your bitcoins but if you want to go the safe way if you don't want to risk on that because not every altcoin is gonna perform or outperform bitcoin then just buy or go along with bitcoin and you should be doing fine in the next couple of years. So here in the one hour you can see that we already initiated here the correction to the downside uh, not only here on the CMEs by the way here on the CMEs my target is to reach here this 10k because so far we didn't came down to test this area and this is where I think we could potentially have also the CME gap filling here maybe even test this support here at around 9400 and then bounce again to the upside but this might happen only because we could see a potential little a long squeeze here we probably have a lot of longs right now since we broke ten thousand five hundred dollar and everyone is going a fomo right now so we could have like a scam week or at least a little dump to liquidate some over leveraged longs and then start here the breakout of eleven thousand five hundred dollar which could finally take us towards thirty thousand dollar till the end of the year so Currently we're seeing the price closed uh, right now below the 20 moving average in one hour. So far we never had a close below. So the 20 moving average hold as a support. And right now we're seeing the first close below the 20. Now we have to see if we're going to have a major correction down towards 9,600 
uh, to also close the CME gap. And there is where I suggest to buy some more Bitcoins and altcoins that you want. No financial advice, but this is how I'm going to do. So I, I already uh, put it, all the money and the cryptos over on Bybit and also Binance and Coinbase where I'm going to buy some more Bitcoins and uh, i'm ready to buy in case of this correction today or in the next couple of days because currently you see all the stochastics coming down to oversold condition rsi just reached the 50 levels also here we have some more room left to the downside also don't forget yesterday i told you that most likely we're going to have some bearish divergences in the one hour and four hour time frame because we were completely going insane here to the upside creating higher highs in the price but in the rsi we were already so over but that we created here this bearish divergence we have here a lower high compared to this high and this high so this is a bearish divergence in the one hour which probably is going to play out right now and also if you have a look in the bollinger band you can see that currently we're trading in the lower area so also yeah, i'm expecting the price to come towards ten thousand four hundred dollar make this also shifted to the downside if you don't want to wait on nine thousand six hundred to the uh, gap feeling then already ar around 10,000 is already a good entry point because it's just about $400 of difference and you definitely don't want to, to miss out both only because of $400 so if you cannot wait then maybe this is already the last opportunity to buy some cheaper bitcoins and scale in long positions but as i told you it's very likely that we are going towards 9600 sooner or later uh, to close this gap and that might be the last opportunity to buy really cheap bitcoins and don't forget that we also have a cme gap uh, at around twelve thousand dollars so that one is not yet filled we are very close to it but so far we didn't close that gap above of us and let's hope that we first going down to close the lower gap and then move again towards this twelve thousand dollar and higher now let's switch over to the four hour time frame because also here you can see that we were completely overbought and currently we are retracing back down i'm still targeting here the 20 moving average which is at $10,300. So it is very likely that we at least go down here to retest the 20 very soon. RSI was very overbought, same stochastic. We're coming down now. We're even now we're still overbought. We are still above the 70 level. So also here we have a lot of room left down till we can uh, test here the 50 in the RSI, maybe even go come down to test the oversold condition. And that would take us most likely here towards our target of around 9,600, where we also could close the CME gap and um, yeah we can also go over to the bollinger band in the four hour time frame here also the price went completely insane here above the bollinger band currently we're seeing a retracement so slowly we will move towards the middle line to test here this 10k area again and maybe there we're gonna see a week or something here towards 9600 the bottom is towards 9200 so as long as we're moving within the bollinger band in this range here everything is possible we can even go down here even just a week towards 9200 and come straight straight back up again we have also the MACD still shifted to the upside so in the four hour everything is still bullish even though I'm still expecting a potential correction although to fill this CME gap I wouldn't go necessarily short I have no position open yet I closed all my longs and right now I'm waiting to scale in new long positions so I'm not shorting right now and I also don't recommend to short even though it's obvious that for, from here we could see a potential correction down but if we're coming down to those levels I would take it as a less chance to go long or buy in some cheaper bitcoins and not trying to short here this move to the downside it's up to you if you want to trade but at least for myself I want to scale in longs and not shorts and that's why currently I'm looking for longs and now let's go over to the daily time frame because here you can already see this channel that we were in here since so many days already and we came straight up here at the top of the channel currently we're getting rejected here we're seeing this correction which could even take us towards a 20 daily moving average again here at nine thousand seven hundred dollar we had also the rsi and stochastic complete overbought condition so also here i think a retracement back down at least a little correction towards the 20 daily at nine thousand seven hundred dollar is uh, in the cards and i think it's very likely to come similar like we had also here in the past when we tested the top of the channel and if we have a look at the bollinger band in the daily 
you can see that we're still here overshooting the Bollinger Band. So far, we didn't even retrace back into it. The top is currently at $10,500 and the middle line is here at $9,500. So I still think there is a very high chance that we're going to see at least in the short term here a wick or a correction down to those levels and then come straight back up again. We can also stay in this consolidation phase here for another couple of days or weeks. But I think uh, since we already broke here this $11,000 and $10,500, it is very likely that Bitcoin is then immediately coming back up again if we're seeing the correction right now. MACD is also still shifted to the upside. So all in all, we are still bullish even though we are complete overbought currently and we should see in theory a little correction at least to close the CME gap. The problem is only that Bitcoin when it's going parabolic and FOMO is kicking in can stay in overbought condition for many days and weeks like we have seen in 2017. So that means that we could even jump up to $30,000 before we are closing the gap at $9,600. So it is even possible that first we're going to create a new all-time high, come back to close the CME gap at $9,600 and then continue um, this bull run and also start to create every week or month new all-time highs till we're gonna top out somewhere most likely towards the end of 2021 or beginning of 2022 that is at least my expectation so only because we have that CME gap now it doesn't mean that we have to go straight back down but it is very likely to happen very soon otherwise sooner or later we will come eventually down to close that gap as well and now let's switch over to the weekly time frame because this time frame is still looking very bullish currently we're taking out all these highs that we had here in the past if we can close the weekly candle above ten thousand five hundred dollar this would be very bullish this would be the absolute confirmation that we're starting here a massive bull run but even if we're coming back down towards the 20 weekly moving average which currently is at around nine thousand dollar we would still maintain our bullish way and we should here see another breakout pretty soon if we are coming really that low to close the weekly at around nine thousand dollar we have orisign stochastic coming up towards uh, overbought condition so also here it looks like that we could see a potential correction but since we already broke here this significant red line here this big resistance even if we retrace even down here towards the 200 weekly moving average currently at $6,200. This breakout here is the confirmation that sooner or later we will see here this big bull run that everyone is waiting for. And we are waiting right now since four years for this big bull run to begin. And I think right now is the time where we're going to see here a big move on Bitcoin. And the targets for this breakout here, it doesn't matter if we first correct down here or continue here to pump and test the highs that we had over here. The next target that I have is here the 0.786 Fib line based on the move from $20,000 down to $3,000 because if we are able to break here this $14,000 then it is very likely that we're gonna see here some first uh, resistance here at around $16,000 where also the 0.786 Fib line is lining up. Also here as you can see we had some support and resistance here once we topped out at $20,000. But as soon as the 16,000 is also broken, I don't think that 20k will also hold the price for too long. Because also in gold, we're seeing currently a breakout from the all-time high. So gold is creating new all-time highs right now. And also on gold, we didn't get rejected or anything like that at the all-time high. So I think on Bitcoin, we will see something similar where we immediately break through. And if you look at the Fibonacci extensions here from the move that we had from 14,000 down to 3,800. On the dollar so from the price action that we had this year and last year so from the top that we had here at 14,000 since the last run here the next 1.618 fib line would be at 20k which is coinciding with our all-time high and the next target would be here the 2.618 fib line at 30,000 and this is why I think if we're gonna see here a massive breakout to the upside come to 20,000 and also overshooting it I think it is very likely that we're gonna test here this 30 thousand dollar and there we have to see if we're able also here to start to trade above or if we're seeing a rejection here and a possible bigger correction to retest 20 or 16 thousand dollar in this area here before we're heading to another big parabolic move towards our final target between 100 to 300 thousand 
dollar in my opinion because what will be the next parabolic all-time high is still to come and to see probably in the year 2021 or 2022 and no one can tell you right now what will be the all-time high everyone is just speculating just guessing what will be the next all-time high but in my opinion it will be somewhere between 100,000 to 400,000 and that's why right now it doesn't matter if you bought at 9k or 10k or 12k you will be doing fine for the next couple of years for sure and with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up for now don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel also follow me over on twitch and if you have discord you are very welcome to join our free discord trading chat the chat is completely for free everyone is a welcome and also if you need a trading account where you can trade the bitcoin and other assets up to 100x leverage you find all the sign up links down below here you support the channel if you use my links and you can get also some sign up bony on bityard currently we have up to 258 dollars uh, bony if you trade with high volume then here you can get the most bony currently and also on bybit where i recommend you to trade with bitcoin ethereum eos and xrp here you can get currently 90 dollars uh, rewards if you put some first deposits and so on and don't forget to subscribe to our weekly 10 dollar worth of bitcoin at the end of this video is popping up a video where it says subscription video here you have to put any comment you want with your bitcoin address at the end of the week, we're going to select randomly a winner of this $10 worth of Bitcoin that we do every week. So definitely tune in every day because we are doing daily Bitcoin price analysis. So make sure to subscribe here to the channel and also tick the little bell so you will get always the notification as soon as I upload a video. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. Congratulations to all the hodlers and longers and we're going to see us all in the next one. Bye.